heard of Tio Arnold? Mm -hmm. Is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Tio, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm a college student at Southern Maine Community College. Um, I am in the biology program, and my plan is to do a physician's assistant. Mm -hmm. How was the drive here? <laughs> Well, we got a little lost, oh, yeah. but we made it. <laughs> Tell us, um, what would you like to work on today with hypnosis? I think what I'd like to work on, um, co more confident and more accepting of other people, I guess, mm -hmm. but not cocky, I guess. Okay. So. How long have you been a model? Um, I have worked on a couple projects. I'm still working on my portfolio, and I have a couple um, projects in the works. Uh -huh. So I'm waiting for them to come out. Okay. What what kind of modeling work have you done before? Well, last weekend we came down for a CD cover shoot uh -huh. for a local band, um, Veneer, mm -hmm. and it was a Barbie set, and oh, it should cool. come out um, in a couple months. Oh, cool. So, and then beyond that, just working with photographers and working on my okay. portfolio. And that sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, tell us a little bit about the uh, what you mean by confidence. Um, just just overall a sense of well-being, maybe, and just more calm. And I'm not sure. Just. Okay. Um, think about the last time you were really confident and, and you know, you feel like you're capable of doing what you need to do. How is, how do you feel? Well, tell us about that situation. Well, maybe the most confident would be in middle school mm -hmm. and right before high school mm -hmm. where you didn't really, you didn't really care what other people thought mm -hmm. and kind of growing up, usually it, it's the other way around, but I feel like I've been thinking about how people perceive me more. Okay. So I'd like to not do that as much. Okay. Um, I can't really think of a specific example, but... How do you feel about your confidence level in front of a camera? It's different. It's different modeling because you know that they, they want you and they chose you. So it, I feel less pressure right. modeling. Right. But just with every day, sometimes you're just like, oh, well, how is this person perceiving me? Or, okay. you know, what are they thinking? But it, you shouldn't even worry about that. So. True. When, when do you feel that you need more confidence in your everyday life? Like, is there like a specific moment where you feel like a dip in your confidence level? I don't think there's a specific moment. Um, you know, with everyone, some days are better than others. And, you know, maybe just set aside whatever bad happened. Maybe just put it out of my mind. So, I don't know. Okay. Um, when you feel, you know, a little bit low on confidence, um, tell us what kind of thoughts go through your head. Well, um, just become a little bit more insecure and you just kind of question maybe normal things that you would do, but kind of compare them to your views of society kind of, or what would be acceptable by other people. Or maybe maybe it's trying to appease too, too many kinds of people, okay. but when I should just really care about what I think. What got you interested in modeling? Um, I like seeing my pictures, <laughs> which is kind of selfish to say, but I do. Um, and my mom always, you know, suggested that I do it, and I started. And I mean, it's fun, okay. and I like seeing the after. Okay. So. <laughs> is there an aspiration that you want to be? If that were to come up, but I think that school is definitely my priority right now. So I'm just kind of doing it for fun and on the side. And okay. if it were to develop into something really big, then I would obviously try it out. <laughs> um, well, let's go back to the issue. Um, what what kind of feelings do you do you feel when you uh, when you're a little bit down on your confidence? 
Mm, maybe a little bit anxious and a little confused, or I just feel that I just overthink things. Okay. So it just doesn't make me feel good. What kind of um, sensation, like like? You know, is there tingling or like a bodily sensation that you feel when you are? Well, maybe sometimes in class for presentations, everyone gets this way, but kind of shaky mm -hmm. for, I, I don't know, because I feel like people are judging me, maybe. But that's usually whenever you have a big presentation and you're nervous anyway about your grade. True. But do you think that that is more like a, a rationalization rather than the actual feeling of bodily sensation. I'm sorry, what do you mean? Like, like when, when you say you feel that people are judging you, mm -hmm. is, that, is that a feeling or, or is that like, like a rational thing? Like you think about people judging you or do you just feel it? I, I think I just think that people are judging me and okay. like perceive people's looks and you're just like, oh, well, what did that mean? <laughs> or, you know, just question yourself right. when there's really no need. Right. Um, I don't know if that answers your question. No, no, just answer with, like, the first thing that comes into your head. Okay. That would be the best answer. Okay. Yeah. Um, what, what do you do when you feel a bit low on confidence? Mm, well, it depends on the situation. Could you... Situation. Like, do you do you do something to help you feel more confident? Well, or sometimes I'll just I'll take a deep breath and kind of just tell myself, everything's fine. Why are you Why are you questioning things? So try to reassure myself that everything's normal. Everything's okay. Do you do you do anything when you are feeling a little bit more confident? Like, do you um, play with your finger that kind of thing? If I'm nervous, you mean? Yeah. Um, just beyond the shakiness, I don't think that anything physical. Okay. I think it's just all in, in my head. <laughs> okay. Okay. So where in Maine are you from? I'm from Portland, and oh, it's yeah. a coastal city. Tell us about that city. Okay. Um, it's actually pretty comparable to Boston, but obviously okay. a lot smaller. Right. Maybe a fourth of the size, a fifth of the size, and it's right on the water, and it's a big tourist city. Um, there are obviously neighborhoods, and then there's the waterfront, and there's a whole bunch of wharfs and businesses, and um, a lot of tourists come to the old port, where yeah. there's shops and bars and restaurants. And how, how do you enjoy, how do you enjoy Portland? I like it. Um, I've lived there all of my life, so I kind of want to experience another place, oh, and yeah. somewhere warm would be would be nice. <laughs> the winter is kind of hard sometimes. Oh yeah, tell me about that. <laughs> um, if we could go anywhere in the world, where would you like to go? Hmm. I think... I don't know. Probably... Probably a small country, somewhere where I could maybe live in a, not a hut, but somewhere oh. right on the ocean, maybe. Okay. And like on the beach? On the beach would be nice, or even maybe in like a tree fort in a rainforest, yeah. that'd be really cool. <laughs> but somewhere outdoors and where I could have my windows open all the time, and you know, maybe even a tent somewhere, that would be cool. <laughs> This is great. Um, so if you can picture yourself as, as the completely confident you, the, the you that you want to be, um, could you tell me what that image looks like? Um, just, I guess just very clear-minded mm -hmm. and, you know, just think about what I, what I want to accomplish and just make sure that I'm doing that. And if if I am, and I'm happy with that, then I shouldn't really care about, you know, disregard other people's thoughts or, I mean, take them, take them, but just not let it hurt my feelings. Or, I guess not even, like if I 
see someone's expression that right. jump to conclusions. Right, it's true. So just, I, I don't know, be happy with the decisions that I make and feel that they're, they're right. Okay. And not question them. How would you feel as, you know, when you, when you could pretend yourself as the teal in the future, the teal that is, you know, completely confident in herself, um, what kind of feelings would go over your body? I just think a sense of well-being and calm would be probably the best adjective and secure, mm -hmm. yes. Happy. <laughs> Well, tell me, um, what is your what is the definition of happiness? Hmm. Um, I mean, it's different from situation to situation, I think. But focused, clear-minded, determined, um, just to go with the flow. That would be that would just be happy. Okay. Bad, bad thoughts? No. You, you're naturally quite happy. <laughs> well, I'm not depressed, no. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> I guess I would have to experience, like, a really bad thing. I don't know. No, you don't, no, don't go there. <laughs> this is all about happiness. <laughs> we want everybody to be happy. Um, If, if you are truly happy and truly confident in yourself, what would you be doing? You mean later in life? Or yeah. I don't know. I think that it, would, it wouldn't really matter what I was doing. You know, as long as I thought that it was right and it made me happy and I could provide for myself, then I would be happy. Wow. <laughs> it's very uh, sad. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> Ish. <laughs> you can write a book on being happiness. I think you summarized that uh, very, very well. Yeah. Um, but specifically, I don't think a profession or something is just one thing is going to make me happy. Okay. So. On the email, you have told me that you have been hypnotized before. Yes. Can you tell us about that experience? I went with my sister to, it was for smoking and weight loss mm -hmm. and, or eating habits. Mm -hmm. um, and he, there was, it was a seminar. Right. And there were maybe 50 people there. And he just wanted to, you know, show us how it works. And we were out for, well, I don't know if it's called out, but we were hypnotized for like right. 35 minutes. Okay. And it just, it just felt, we just felt calm, like you didn't know that that, right. that much time had gone by. I thought that, oh, yeah. you know, I was, well wait, and you just woke up from what? <laughs> for like two minutes. And I think that hypnotherapy is, isn't it, a, it's just like a type of meditation. And it's, it Some people would say sometimes. it that way. Because you know. that's what it felt like to me. Right. I just felt, I just felt very calm and just, right. oh wow, refreshed, I guess that's would be the word. Yeah. But he he woke up half half of the people and right. he, and he when it, he said that whenever they woke up they would just think that everyone looked so funny and they would just oh, laugh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wasn't one of the people that were laughing. Oh, I was yeah. one of the people watching, oh, yeah. and they just they woke up and they thought everything oh, yeah. was just so funny. They would just look side to side and it was oh, yeah. so that was my experience. But it wasn't it wasn't for a specific purpose. It was okay. just to. How do you feel about, how do you feel after you were hypnotized with the, on the seminar? I just felt really relaxed. Right. And I thought that my, my neck would hurt from like being, being down, but it didn't. And okay. refreshed, I guess. It okay. was just, it was kind of like a nap. Okay. But not with the, the withdrawal symptoms, like oh, yeah. trying to wake yourself up oh, or yeah. having okay. a, have a, some coffee. Alright. So. So when you're a kid and you had to take a nap in the middle of the day, oh, yeah. that's how it felt. Yeah. They don't even know they took a nap. <laughs> <laughs> but didn't know. <laughs> um, so
So, yeah, so we are about to do some hypnosis um, to help you specifically with your confidence um, and to feel more self-assured and, mm -hmm. and to not feel that other people are judging you all the time. Is that is that a good summary of, of what we need to do today? I think that is what I wanted to accomplish. Okay. Um, do you have any questions before we start? Um, how do you do it? You'll find out soon. <laughs> <laughs> then I guess not, because I think that'll be fun. Yeah, it'll be fun. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, just make sure your feet is flat on the floor, your heel is flat on the floor. Put your hand on the left and just take a deep breath. I want you to extend your arms like this and push your hands together and clap them like this. So push them together? Yes, push them together. Okay. And I want you to just keep your eyes open and find a spot on the ceiling that you can focus your attention on. And just focus on that spot, like you can see through the spot. That's right. And as you focus on that spot, I want you to imagine that in a few minutes, you'll feel totally relaxed. Now, when I count backwards from three to one, Mm -hmm. I would like you to close your eyes and go into a deep state of hypnosis. And as soon as you close your eyes, I would like you to imagine yourself on a warm, beautiful beach. With my eyes closed now? No, just keep staring at the spot. Okay. <laughs> when I count backwards from three to one, when I reach number one, you can close your eyes. And when you do that, can you imagine yourself? on a quiet, private beach. And when you close your eyes, you can imagine that the warm breeze on the beach against your cheek, against your nose, against your eyelashes. And you may even feel the warm sand under your feet and feel your toes sinking into the warm sand. And you can hear sound of the ocean waves gently crashing against the shore. Now as I count backwards from three to one, when I reach the number one, I want you to close your eyes and drift into a state of hypnosis. Three, two, one, eyes closed. Just imagine yourself on that wonderful private beach. <laughs> I thought it was on silence. <laughs> I put it on silence. Is it on silence here? <laughs> it, it should be like it was. up like this, push them together, and clap your hands. I want you to push your hands as tightly and together as possible. Feel that your palm is touching each other when you hold that. Uh, your hands together tighter, 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 and tighter. Let's close. Deeper and deeper down. More. Let yourself go and relax. You can imagine that wonderful beach with the warm breeze against your cheek. Feel the warm breeze on 
your feelings. Feel that warm breeze against your ears, against your eyelashes, against your forehead. Feel that warm breeze against your hair, it's flowing through each strand of your hair. Feel the warm sand beneath your toes. Feeling as if you're sinking into your chair. You can feel your back against your chair. Just feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into the chair. That's right. Feel your back. Feel the back of your legs. Just relaxing and drifting. That's right. You can still feel the warm breeze on the tip of your nose, on the edge of your lips. That's right. Relaxing Joe so gently. Feel the wonderful relaxation just flowing throughout your body. You don't have to make it happen. It will happen automatically. It will happen all by itself. It will happen very, very naturally. Just let yourself drift deeper and deeper into trance. Sinking deeper and deeper into the chair. That's right. Feel the warm, wonderful relaxation on the tip of your toes. your thighs, feeling so good, so wonderful, just let yourself go, sleep even deeper and deeper into trance, sinking deeper and deeper into your chair, that's right, feel the warm, wonderful relaxation in your stomach, and on the lower back, so warm, so wonderful. Just let yourself go and sleep even deeper. That's right. Feel that warm, wonderful relaxation under your back. Every joint, onto your arms, onto your wrist, feeling so relaxing. Onto your neck, you can feel the scarf on the back of your neck relaxing you even more. That's right. Some people report when they in a deep state of hypnosis that they have the sensation of sinking into the chair. And some people say that they feel like that they're drifting and floating. Drifting and floating. As if their head is being attached to a helium balloon and it's just floating there. Feeling so good. So wonderful. Feel that relaxation the back of your ears and the back of your head onto your jaws if your teeth are clenched together you can unclench them now and just let your jaw hang loose and limp and relax you can let your eyelid
sleep. Going deeper and deeper and deeper down. Feel like you're just a rag doll. A rag doll has no bone. It just hangs there, loose and limp. Loose and limp. Feel like your arms are just hanging there. Loose and limp. Your head. Loose and limp. Your legs. Loose and limp. Feeling so good. So warm. You can hear my voice very clearly. Each word that I speak, you drift deeper and deeper into hypnosis. I want you to imagine that your eyelid is getting heavy, heavy, heavy. Your eyelid has a thousand lead attached to it. And as I count backwards from three to one, when I reach the number one, your eyelids will be glued together. And no matter how hard you try, would not be able to open your eyelids. Three, two, one, try to open your eyes. You cannot. Try to open your eyes. That's right. Now stop trying now. And just relax. That's right. Now sleep. Going deeper and deeper now. More and more relaxed. Now to I'm going to Pull your arm by the wrist right here. I want you to lock your elbow. I want you to lock your shoulder. I want you to lock your wrist. That's right. Just squeeze your fist. That's right. Squeezing it tighter, tighter, and tighter. I want you to imagine that your arm is a bar of steel. No matter how hard you try, you will not be able to lower your arm. Try and you cannot. Try and you cannot. Try and you cannot. Relax now. Relax your wrist. Relax your elbow. Relax your shoulder. Just a loose, limp, and relaxed. Loose, limp, and relaxed. That's right. So deeper and deeper and deeper. Feeling so good. So wonderful. So relaxing. Now, Tio. When a person is under hypnosis, they can find it very easy to communicate, and very easy to talk. I want you to count from one to ten for me. Go ahead. One. Louder, please. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Good. This time, when you count, I want you to forget the number six. That number will no longer be a part of your number scheme for the next couple of minutes. I want you to count again from one to ten without the number six. Go ahead. One, two, three, four, five. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, very good. When you wake up, you'll be able to count perfectly from one to ten again. Because for now, there is no need.
could be doing numbers, doing math, and you can just let those numbers go. Just let yourself relax a little bit more. That's right. That's right. Now to your one account, from one to three, you're going to open your eyes, and you'll see a nice little kitty sitting on your lap. You will not, you will not be alert or you will not be panicking in any way. You'll find it very funny. You'll find the kitty very cute. You want to play with the kitty. And when I say the word sleep now, you close your eyes and you drift back into hypnosis for me. One, two, three, eyes open. No kitty. No kitty. No. <laughs> Let yourself go. That's right. Feel yourself sinking deeper and deeper into trance. Deeper and deeper into hypnosis. Feeling so good. So relaxed. Just let yourself go and sleep. Feeling so warm. So comfortable. Now to you. When you walk in today, you feel the need to work on your self-confidence. And this is exactly what we're doing right now. I want you to imagine yourself in the future when you feel the need to present yourself in public or when you're about to do a shoot or when you're in a situation where you think that other people will be judging you, you find that you feel very in control of yourself. You feel very in control of your emotion. You will not have any thoughts of anybody judging you. People will still be looking at you, and you can look them back. You find it very easy to cope with anybody who may look at you in a way that you do not understand. You find it very easy to cope with other people's judgment. And you'll find it very easy to learn from other people's judgment. You will not overthink. You will not worry too much about what other people think about you. Because you know you are a beautiful model. And you are a wonderful, wonderful and talented person that whatever you need to say, whatever you need to do, whatever you need to present yourself, you're completely confident in yourself. Everywhere you go, you'll feel self-assured, you'll feel a sense of self-esteem, because knowing that you're smart, you're beautiful, and you're outgoing with that wonderful personality that you have, you can go anywhere and you can do anything. And people may be looking at you, people may be judging you, but it will not matter to you. None of these is going to matter to you. You do not need to depend upon what other people think about you to be yourself. You do not need to depend on other people's thoughts. You do not need to depend on other people's feelings. You do not need to depend on others' behavior to judge who you are. Because you are a wonderful person, you're a self-assured person, and you're a person with high self-esteem. Everywhere you go, everywhere, everybody you meet, you approach them with a great sense of confidence, a great sense of respect. You can, all, you can still listen to people, and you can still learn from people without having their opinion getting you down you find that you do not need other people's opinion to determine who you are or where you want to go in life. When you wake up from this trance, you find yourself feeling very happy, very content, very calm. When you wake up from this trance, you'll find yourself smelling a lot more. You'll be smelling all the way from Boston back to Parkland. You'll find that there's a lot of helium balloon on your shoulder, and you feel that a lot of weight has been left from your shoulder. If you're good, you'll feel amazing.
everywhere you go, whatever you see, whatever you hear, you can see things in great more in greater precision and brighter color. You can hear sound more acutely. You can hear people talk、um, with greater precision of what they're talking about. Your senses will therefore become much more attuned, much more acute, much more beneficial to whatever you have to do. Everywhere you go, you'll feel this sense of calm and relaxation, and a complete sense of total self-control, self-confidence, and self-assurance. And you will let these words be a part of you, imprinted deeply. In the parts of your unconscious mind, the part of your unconscious mind where you use every day, the part of the unconscious mind where you don't have to think about these things, they will just happen to you automatically. They will just happen to you all by itself, because you know these words echoes the truth, the truth that you believe in, the truth that you believe in that you are a talented person, you are a hardworking person, you are a smart person, and you are a beautiful person. And、everywhere you go, you can meet people, you can see people with a great sense of confidence, and you know this sense of confidence will carry you into great success in your life. Now, when I count from one to ten, when I reach the number ten, I want you to open your eyes, come back to this room, feel great, feel wonderful, be fully awake, fully energized. Feeling like you have just slept for the last 12 hours, totally amazing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That wasn't. How do you feel? How long? That wasn't very long. How long was that? We have 37 minutes. Really? <laughs> okay, no, because I was thinking about it, and I was like, wait, this this didn't go on for a long time. I only, you were only talking to me for like a little bit, like for two minutes before. I don't remember anything before. Well, what you're experiencing is is called time distortion. Um, sometimes when it's like dreaming. You know, you can dream about、uh, that you were in a situation for a long time, but it was only like 30 seconds.、Um, the sense of time is a little bit distorted when when you're about to fall asleep and when you're dreaming.、Um, it's like what we talked about earlier when kids are taking a nap, and they don't even know they've taken a nap. But I was consciously thinking about it, and I was like, well, but my my neck is hurting. Like I must be, you know. And I didn't. I don't. I don't remember、right. feeling that way before. Right. It will. It will more be like like a strand of thoughts being stretched out, but that you you are not quite conscious about the thoughts stretching out. It's like there's like your mind have like little reference to the way it's operating in the outside world. So whenever whenever you told me to look for the cat and it wasn't there. Right. When how how long was that? That was like two minutes, right? No, that that went on for a while. The cat went on for a while. No, they, no. When I ask you to open your eyes and you don't see the cat,、uh, what I was doing is called suggestibility testing, and you are on stage four on the Harry Aaron scale. What so what that means is that some people, when under hypnosis, is they be are able to hallucinate things. It's like dreaming with the eyes open.、Um, some people do not do, are not able to do that. Um, when they hypnotize,、mm-hmm. um, research has shown that you know if a person is hypnotized more often, if they go see a therapist for like a long extent of time, they may be able to hallucinate more. So I stop that. If if I'm doing a research project right now, I would mark down that you're a stage four subject.、Um, that means that you have passed the stage challenge where you cannot open your eyes, your arms are stiff. You forget a number, and chances is that you also experience、uh, anesthesia. But I didn't test that.、Um, that means that you are unable to feel pain. 
But uh, I don't really like to give people pain just to see if they can do it. So, so I didn't go through that. But the fact that you can forget the number. Um, but I felt like it had to be, it was like a conscious effort. Okay. But I don't know if I, don't know if I was supposed to think that way. Because I, I was like, I don't know how quickly I said it. Right. But I, I think that I had to think about it. But okay. then, but then I just remember. I remember when you asked me about the cat, and then I just heard the the last few things that you said. Okay. But that felt like it was only like a minute or two, because that's when my that's when I noticed my neck. Oh yeah. Um, How's it going? Uh, no, it's fine now. Do you need to see a chiropractor? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, I would like to help you, but uh, this is not what like, my life we're expecting. Yeah. <laughs> But, yeah. Oh yeah. You should have told me about your neck earlier. No, I didn't know though. Oh, yeah. I didn't notice until. Like, well, I don't even know how long. Oh yeah. But no, that happened last time. Oh yeah. Because you just like let it go. I don't know. Oh. That didn't ha No one said anything before about it. Nobody complained. <laughs> well, I'm trying to like put right. that together so you can. Right. Yeah, I've. Never heard of people complaining about neck pain. But I suppose it can happen. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't know. I don't. I'm not a physician. I don't know if you had like neck injuries before. Oh no, I'm. It happened before. I'm just oh, yeah. trying. I was trying to okay. give you the time frame. Right. So like for two for like two minutes, I started thinking about this, and then I was then I could hear like kind of what you were saying. For, well, I okay. don't know how long. Maybe it was like this one sensation that, that woke you up a little bit. Maybe. Yeah. Or maybe you're waking me up, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> no, no, I wasn't trying to do that. <laughs> yeah. Is, um, there, is there a reason that it's like 37 minutes? Because last time it was like 30 something minutes too. Um, or is that just... It's just what we need to do today. Um, if there's more, if I feel that there's more I need to do, then I could like, you know, stretch it on a little bit more. So, it what, it's just coincidence that it was like that? Well, usually a session lasts an hour to like 80 minutes. And uh, therapists usually time themselves to be within that time frame. Mm -hmm. So, you know, just to move things efficiently. But, uh, in theory, it can go on for a while. Uh, it can go on for as long as, as we like, for as much work as we need to do. What would that, what would a longer time period accomplish? Um, would you just kind of deeper into whatever? There, there are different kind of sessions, right? This session, I'm not going to say that you're a simple person, but what we're doing here is, is quite simple. Mm -hmm. and quite direct, right? Um, let's say somebody wants to remember um, what their mother looked like when they've only seen their mother once. So that kind of session will last longer when we try to fish out, you know, the images in their memory. Um, sometimes there are more complicated issues that a person needs to deal with, and there will be much more interaction between the hypnotist and the subject. Those sessions tend to last longer. Um, some sessions, such as past life regression, um, tend to last a little bit longer. Or if somebody comes with a more complicated problem that requires, like, you know, multiple departure point, like, like you know, he has to do a regression at the same time to deal with some other problem. Do you do the past the past life thing? Yeah. You've done that? I've done that a few times. Oh. That would be interesting. Wait, did, did, did you ask me questions? No, not, oh, okay. not this time. I don't feel the need to do that. Okay. Because right. I did. I was going to say I don't remember that, but you were like, <laughs> oh, well, sometimes when people talk to I don't know. Yeah, well, the, the theory is you should always use the simplest method to solve your problems. Right? So. For this case, I feel that it's a straightforward kind of problem. Mm -hmm. So, so I don't, I don't see the need to to do that kind of work today. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Ready? How are you feeling? Just 
just, I, I don't know. Fine. I mean, All right. I don't feel bad. Okay. Are you happy? Mm-hmm. All right. Is he driving you home? Yes. Why? Right. <laughs> Do I seem a little out of here? <laughs> no, I feel fine. This is great. Um, so thank you for coming. Um, is there anything you would like to tell the people at home watching this right now? That it was a good experience. Um, my second time. All right. This is great. Thank you for coming. Thank you. It's great. Thanks.